Hello everybody, welcome to a <laughs> a match that is going to happen. Um, we have Dung with Mr. Bringer Hate Slots and he's open with Dub Skulls against one of the craziest Dark Elf teams we've ever seen. Uh, this is Alma Forever, I believe. And uh, yeah, when your team is that good that you've got a guard line on the bench. That's pretty ridiculous. Ladonia. Do you think Ladonia is uh do you think that's gonna happen? Right, so it's interesting actually. Dung's team isn't that bad, right? He's got an Adjup ghoul, he's got Blood Shohan's ghoul, he's got Adjup Wolf, which is about the best thing you can have. Juggernaut is shit. With Wrestle, right? Block Juggernaut, great. I, not mighty blow, but still, at least block Juggernaut, right? You get you get to uh, knock over wrestlers. Like you're losing half of the utility of Juggernaut by uh, by pairing it with wrestle. So wrestle Juggernaut is terrible. Um, Cheney gives you two wrestlers. But I don't know if Cheney's great. I mean, he's down loads of TV, right? He's got Cheney, and this is his route to victory. Actually, he's got dirty players. Got two dirty player, uh, two bribes, a dirty player, and a wizard. Loads of bench. So obviously this guy's going to get exp like you know, being exposed. Got to blitz this guy now. Um, the fleshies, you know, put him in maxi. The uh, whites put him in maxi, and only one will. So it's actually a pretty, it's a pretty decent min max necro team. It's just that obviously when you compare it to this insanity team. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look, the massive chain for the extra hit. Massive chain to get, uh, get the extra hit. Lovely play. Lovely play from Alma. Doing an escape room from Rick's basement, yeah. Yeah, it's a very max-maxed. <laughs> it's a very max-maxed Dark Elf team. I don't, I don't remember what TV it was, but it was, it was massive. I mean... It's crazy, isn't it? Look, strength up, guard, strength up. Oh yeah, this is well, this one's a black org movement four. <laughs> the strength guard, guard. What's this move? It edge five, guard, guard. Like two blood step guards. Mighty blow and jugs. Edge up side step. Like it's an amazing. It's an absolute wonder team. Wonder team. Lovely play rewarded. Yeah, exactly, right? Does, does all that for the chain, then nothing. No assist foul, Kaz. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the reroll was, was poor. But I guess he had four, so... But yeah, it was, it was a poor reroll. Just frustration. Really. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, you can get away without without the tackle for a long time, right? Because of wolves having frenzy. Um, I mean, I hope to take the tackle on the white, like this. Um, well, actually, I go guard first, but because the wolves, you know, would be hopefully rolling stats and doubles rather than just blodge tackle, and I'd probably even go blodge step before tackle. Yeah, I mean it's an insane amount of guard. It's it's a monster, monster elf team. One more tackle. How many how many tacklers there? Is it just there's just the one tackle right there, the white. Something's got to happen here, surely. Surely you can't be serious. Oh, I would have pushed. 
him to, to burn, interesting. <laughs> Chunder. Choose! It's not, it's because it was fill that space and that one, it didn't really work out. Yeah, zero tackle now. I don't like going round the back as much. Way. Hey. Um, but I guess getting the getting the wolf down is pretty good, isn't it? We still got enough in the front to stop them in the front as well. Two. That's all right. Even even with two men down, he's made a removal, so he's not even down that many men. The two three stuns. This is an. I mean, the whole match is a nightmare, isn't it? The whole match is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Are we going to see a potato? What's that guy doing? Well, he's going to Kaz. That's easy. Apple fail. So now, Apple is gone. Yeah, we are. We're going to... Well, not potato, but... Oh, just lose. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's gonna maybe maybe make the hand off and potato, but Well Don't say it's over <laughs> I don't I wouldn't have picked up with a witch elf there because he's got the whiz right. So I uh, pick it up with this guy who's more expendable I guess. Hello Tony Maybe we could have an American gym con sometime, eh? For the World Cup. Ooh. A gym extravaganza instead of the Nick extravaganza. It's asking a lot, though. Leaving the house. <laughs> I mean, the ball here is terrible, right? So it's fine. I have it on that which off because the ball would be such a terrible decision. <laughs> Got to trundle back to the action now. Fouling with a ghoul. Makes sense, right? He's got the bribe. High risk still, even with the bribe. I guess he's got two bribes, but still. It's a pretty good player to lose. Oh, don't like that. I guess it was all he could do, though, with the, the white having guard. Oh, no, this guy's strength four. I wanted to free this guy. Um, I don't want to free this guy. Just score. I guess you just score anyway. Yeah, you can't really say it. can't stall it. So it's fine. The chaff's pretty easily good, Jeremy. Yeah. yeah, it's just a score, so it didn't it didn't matter, I think. Well there you go, don't say it's over. I would have in, in I would have in addition to a block Johan's girl, but yeah, I guess early on, 
early on you you want to be scoring on the balls, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Build, build the blood shoe hands. Go away after, you, after you've got your walls up. So obviously, pretty pretty unlucky for Alma having this uh, this witch elf die. No, only missing action. It's not that bad. I thought it had a stat bust. Um, Dung fills the chunter Kyoro. But I mean. <laughs> Can't be too upset because look at the dark elves. <laughs> look at them. Look at them. No, Junkie Chihuahua. No, everyone wants me to do that. But I mean, no, there's, there's a couple that people want us to do. The halfling one and the ogre one. But I'm just doing in the order they are, whatever they are. They must be done in order. This hate blocking with a dirty player here. It's like how you win, right? Pretty much is is getting these gang fouls in. <laughs> Less hundred dollar do yeah, okay. Hundred dollar donation. I'll fucking cast any game you want. <laughs> Forget the ball. Oh, no, he's got the ball. It's like, why is he running up here? In here? Okay. He's not bad. about this to be honest seems like he's getting a bit a bit too contacty but I guess it's got so much guard and there's like no tackle at all why not this I mean he's going down this side right he ain't switching I don't like just tagging in general here like you're tagging out move four zombies right these two guys could have been like maybe it's here and here or something I'd want to just stop the sideline like you want to stop him scared oof well there's another removal yeah I really hate these two over here He's got two turns to score. Like, how is he? You know, how is he reversing through this? He isn't. These two are totally wasted. Totally wasted players. At least having central, but yeah, something over here. Our reroll comes in. Still fails. Yeah, I mean, this, this was. This, there had to be something back here. Honestly, this. Wouldn't want it to get cast by the wolf, but still. This was well enough to stop. I'm just don't. Like, the weird. Necro are weird, right? They, they're fast. Some of their players are fast, but lots of their players are really slow. He hasn't got tackle. Oh, wrestle strip, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was, it was here. There was they weren't. These weren't like tagging out a zombie is not a good use of an elf, is it? It's a good use of a zombie. And you basically put these two over here. The the, the commitment to the center by itself negated the uh, side switch, in my opinion. Well, I think my opinion's correct, which is why it's my opinion. <laughs> but others can feel free to disagree. And there you go. Hand off to the wolf and in. Easy. 1-1. One, one. I mean, obviously, still, still not in a great spot. And we move two players so that the guard lineman comes on. <laughs> <laughs> the card lineman that was in reserve gets to play. The question is, do you Daka against a wizard? Oh, it's not. I mean, it's not that yet. Anyway, right? This is one turn. But in the second half, do you Daka versus a wizard and two brides? I mean, it's like you don't want a Daka versus the wizard, but you want a Daka versus two brides. I mean, he kept one alive because the team was too good to ever be able to field him. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, they, they, I don't think they got that lucky. I, I would say that was more a misplay from Malmo, to be honest. Yeah, this is a terrible, terrible one playing the fence. Just, just a poor one. I mean, you can't even. It's worse than mine. <laughs> it's worse than mine versus Cruz when I when I didn't defend it. What, what's he doing? Which elf could have pushed to there and then pushed again? Oof. 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 Big mistake from Alma. Yeah. Yeah, it is lucky that his opponent played bad, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it'd save, it'd save that GFI if he'd been there. We'd have had GFI anyways. On his ass. But pretty unlucky not to score the one turn there. With like zero defence. <laughs> Don't know if uh, Dung thought it was the second half there. But yeah, maybe it wasn't worth... But then could it maybe pass to somebody else or something? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like versus basically no defense for the movement eight, edge five. It's movement nine, isn't it? Because the sprint, yeah. So it's kind of like movement nine, edge five, sidestep. You've got a witch elf as well. I feel like. That could have been easier, but I mean, he still failed pretty much whatever he did, right? Because he rolled a one on the pass and a, a one on the GFI, so. However he did it, he would have failed with the dice that he rolled, but it could have been set up a lot better. A lot better? Maybe that's being harsh, but it could have been set up better. <laughs> and not daiquiring. I mean, you don't want to deck when you have a team full of guards, do you? And not backering does expose him to the bribes. Hmm. 
only had his juggernaut guy here. Why run? Because you don't want them to pick you off with the with the bribes, right? But it's pick your poison because you can argue that a deck is worse against a wizard. But standing around in front of your enemy is a lot worse against two bribes. Overconfidence in the team, not daquering. But, you know, Necro are an annoying team to daquer against, to be fair. Like, fleshies to hold the sideline and walls to cover. He did blitz the, blitz the fleshy, yeah. Oh, they're all stuck. I'll we'll count four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty-one. This is the twenty-second, and there's another six replays to go. So most of them are done. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like, yes, you can strength bully and stuff. Guard bully. But you're only armor eight, and they've got some mighty blow, so it's not like. It's not like you. And also, bash teams are worse than elf teams. <laughs> but, you know. Like, while you do want to play as bash if you can, right? Like, because you, you know, you're either the hammer or the nail, as it were. Um. It's interesting, it's interesting. I would I would want to DACA because of the two bribes, but I would also not want to DACA because Necro with a wizard. So I'd have probably done like a short DACA. I just let them come up for a little bit and then go through. Probably what I'd try to have done. That's a cheeky removal. It's tough though, who can say if it's right or wrong? I mean, in hindsight, this is already looking a bit bad, right? Because it's already taken the removals. <laughs> that's that's fair, Ducky. Yeah, that's fair. Same as the tree man, though, and he just stands there as your tree man. But still, getting getting mighty blowed, you know, every turn is pretty bad, right? So I think like two or three turns of Daka. Maybe two turns of Daka. And then use all your guard to like pile in. Protect against the fireball. And then break through. Safe from fireball and walls. Would like it's not easy, it's not actually not that easy on offense, right? Actually not that easy, yeah. Uh, the offense. Like, despite how amazing the Dark Elf team is. Yeah, Wizards, wizard, you know, Necro are a pretty good team on defense. And then with the Wizard as well, and the two bribes. The two bribes is what is, is the problem with playing properly, if you like. Because every turn, as long as he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Tony? That is a, a Blood Bowl standard terminology, but maybe it shouldn't be. Mm. 
No idea, Stucker. No idea. Could have gone for the quick score. Quick score and get you in trouble as well, though, can I? Let's not let's not keep going on about it, Carlo and Shalom. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Time out people through this anymore. I don't know what, what these unrecognized commands are. Me out. Imagine you've been timed out for a second, Helamese. <laughs> the Double one? Oh no, just tackle. Well, there's a bit of a gaping hole there. It's not that gaping, is it? And all of a sudden, the Dark Elves are in a bit of a pickle. Sized it that way because he wanted to jump up block with the witch, but the witch is going to get stamped on. It's probably better to go this way now, but I probably do want to go that way because both his stuns are on that side. He could have had an Aji Mighty Blow with the block, yeah. Yeah. Necro walls, not something I. Necro walls. Wrestle walls, not something I like to do. Yeah. To be fair, the, the bribes haven't been an issue, have they? I would have been terrified of the bribes as the. Uh, as the Dells, but they haven't. Uh, haven't been actually concerned. To blame. This is the thing, like you know, okay, the the Dells have got loads of guard, but the Necro have got three mighty blow, and they can foul every turn because they've got two bribes. So you know, the Dells can can dash a bit, bash a bit, but they're nowhere near as dangerous as the. Uh, I'll claw the guards. They're nowhere near as dangerous as the uh, necro. There's an actual bash thing. I thought he'd have side line cage right because he got side step. Oh, he doesn't want to get surfed by this wolf, that's why she's there. Ooh. Should he have made the extra GFI? Well, 
Was it okay just having him back there? And, uh, yeah, because that's it, the fireball's coming in anyway. Mm. Super interesting. Could have bolted, but I think the fireball's probably better. So I guess that extra GFI makes it what makes the fireball more appealing. So maybe that GFI was a good GFI to stop just getting bolted and. Uh, Dorf. We've got the tackler pushing him infield. Get to the pow. Oh, he's got sidestep, not pushing him infield. But get to the cars. So pushing him off the pitch. Did you say hero then, that zombie? No, it's suddenly looking pretty terrible for the dogs. Now it's looking really bad for the Dells. <laughs> I think this is the movement for guy. Yeah, it is. The wizard has definitely done enough. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The white, the white, the white. That the stacked mighty blow added up, didn't it, over the course of over the course of the match. The bribes were a non-factor, barely fouled. Literally barely fouled. And I, I would have actually been pretty scared of the fouls as the as the as the, uh, as the Dells. Who knows if a Dacker would have worked or not, right? Can't say it was... The Dackering would have been right because it would have made the... The, the Wizard would have still been very scary. But it would have limited the scariness of the attrition, but still. Yes, yeah, obviously if they were if they were one nil up at this point. I mean if if they were if they were one nil up at this point, the uh or nil nil, if it was nil nil that's just the same as one nil. <laughs> so it's not really that much of a difference. Yeah, unbelievable to them. One of the best Dark Elf teams the Cup has ever seen, yeah. Really, it's like, unbelievable team. Yeah, 1-0 at half-time. Yeah, because he was 1-0 up, wasn't he? And then didn't get the one turn. Yeah. Yeah, not defending the sideline. Yeah, and defending it, yeah. It was, it was a big mistake. It was a big mistake. And I can understand him wanting to like cover the other side in case the, the switch, but it was just didn't have enough time for the switch. Yeah, yeah, it was a very interesting match. Pretty, pretty cool match, yeah, and and not like a whole lot wrong, right? Just yeah, you know, maybe maybe the only thing wrong was was that turn seven defense and like obviously minor things. But yeah, yeah, pretty cool match. There you go. Congratulations, Dung. Commiserations, Alma. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.